So I was messing around on the bus and I was just sanding. And under the primer is this. I know that the bus was originally a brown and top and tan bottom half, like a two-tone. Except then there's this and it's here, it's even down here. And you can see it in places around the bus. It's also here. So I'm gonna try something that might be pretty cool. Gonna try this now. So someone on Instagram saw pictures of me sanding on the bus and they gave me a little tip. Easy off oven cleaner. Let's see how it works. So here you can see I actually left it on for too long and it started to eat through the brown paint and some places got even to the metal. So at this point I'm just messing around with the paint um, before I actually do the body work and real paint. I'm just goofing around having fun. It's not really hurting anything because it was just primer. And you can actually see like back here I was power washing it. One of the first videos I did on the bus was power washing this entire thing and it's already gotten back like this because Primer is actually a porous material, or a porous paint, and it soaks up stuff like dirt. So yeah, just messing around, whatever. Okay, I'm doing a temporary fix to this window seal, um, and on the back, because I am tired of having water seep in, sit in there, rest that even more. And it comes in, gets on the floor, and over there as well. So, what I'm doing is, well, what I've already done was I took a file and knocked down the little rust bumps pretty much that had formed. Um, and then I went in there with the screwdriver since the seal is pretty much deteriorating. And picked out crap that was in there. And then I just blew it down with the uh, compressed air, which is why all these streaks are here. And I'm going to clean it up and then put black uh, silicone caulking along here. Just as a temporary fix, don't freak out. I know some of you are probably freaking out, but uh, just as a temporary fix until I can actually get to doing that body work. And there's a little bit on the side, so, but I don't really need sealant anywhere there. Right here, it's actually a gaping hole. I can almost stick my finger in, I can stick my pinky in. Um, anywhere over here, a little hole there, in there, in there, in there. There's actually holes all over this bus. Um, that's probably going to be the most painful part of rust repair is the windows. I'm just going to do that as a temporary fix for now, and then I can address it later. So this is what it looks like, all finished. Obviously, not pretty at all. However, I'd rather it be ugly and take water onto my feet and have more rust come. So, this will do for now, it's still drying a little bit. Definitely not pretty. 
don't really care. The bus isn't pretty. It's got character though. And then back here, where the big hole is, I tried to put some down and then it ended up just caving in on itself and more uh, of the silicone fell in. So I gotta slowly build it up, I guess. Or I might put a piece of tape on the inside just to hold it up. And then there's also a little hole there. So yeah. Getting stuff done. Well, it's not necessarily progress, but a temporary fix. Part of why my bus runs so horribly might be because you can hardly see through the filter. I don't know if we can get a close up if it'll focus, please. There we go. There's literally gunk in all of the ridges. So I'm gonna give that a good clean. <laughs> 